Hi guys! It's Disturbed Jeans and I'm here to bring you another anime review. <laughs> Do you see what I did there? <laughs> because the anime is called Another and I say another and then I say nothing. <laughs> okay, I guess it wasn't that funny. Now Another finished airing Japan March 27th with a total of 12 episodes and it consists of the horror and mystery genre, which everybody knows is my favorite, favorite, favorite genre ever. But, well, let's just move on to the review. And the title alone gives you that unnerving supernatural feeling to begin with. Now, what is Another all about? Another starts out with our main character, 15-year-old Koichi Sakakibara, who has just transferred from Tokyo to the countryside and is about to enter Yomiyama Middle School to live with his late mother's relatives while his father is away in India for business. Though before Koichi could start his new school year, he was admitted into the hospital for lung complications. And one night, while walking around in the hospital, he runs into a strange girl wearing the school uniform that he has just transferred into and carrying a doll heading down towards the morgue. Koichi gets to learn her name before she disappears into the dark, and the ghost-like girl's name is Misaki Mei. When Koichi finally recovers from his injury and starts school, he happens to notice Misaki Mei in the same class as him. The premise of the story then arises when Sakakibara notices that everyone in the class is ignoring Misaki and he is given no explanation as to why this is happening. In the while, trying to figure out if he's really dealing with a ghost or not, Koichi is directly told by Misaki herself to best avoid her. At first, he assumes that he's really seeing a ghost because no one is telling him what's going on. But eventually he finds out that there's a reason why she's being ignored, and it's to save everyone from dying as he is told about the Curse of Class 3-3. Now the Curse of Class 3-3 started back in 1972, when there was an accident involving the golden student of the class named Misaki, who was very loved, leaving the class distraught over her death. In her memory, the class acted as if she's never died and carried on the rest of the school year as if she was there. Since that year, random students from class 3-3 or their relatives would die from freak spontaneous accidents. Why this would happen would be because of the idea that one person in the classroom in reality is dead, but have no recollection of that. Therefore, to make up for the extra student in the class, anyone in the class 3-3 or their relatives could be a victim of this calamity. The plot of another focuses on Koichi and Misaki as they try to unravel the mystery of who the dead student is so they can stop the calamity from taking place so no other deaths will happen, all in the meanwhile trying to save themselves from dying. Now even though I felt like the story of another had a good foundation and the overall secret of who the dead person was well done, I couldn't help but feel that the dialogue for this anime was not descriptive at all. Even though I know this is a mystery, I felt as if it could have been explained better and this was a big disappointment because there were parts in almost every episode where people wouldn't talk for at least a minute or so at a time. It just didn't feel right for the horror genre to have a quiet, mellow feeling, and I can show you some examples. She just sat down. So even though there was a good plot of the story, the dialogue for another didn't deliver the full effect of the story, which would bring down the overall score for me. Now for the characters. The characters in another are just as descriptive as the dialogue is, which is almost non-existent. Through the series, you're introduced to some generic personalities showing in the characters, like Izumi Akazawa, who was a class rep of Class 3-3 and was put in charge for the head of countermeasures to best avoid the calamity from taking place in the classroom, which gives us the slight bitch of the bunch. We also have Noya Teshigara, who was the obnoxious delinquent type in the class, who was supposed to be the source of comic relief. Besides those two characters, everyone else was very... Well, I'll steal Ebi's word and call them one-dimensional, because it's true. Even our main characters, Koichi and Misaki, have no personality to fit the story. You're given little backstory on Misaki that has to deal with the only mystery aspect of the story itself, like the deal with her left eye, and the only thing you know about Koichi is that he's into reading horror stories and that he has some medical problems. You really had no understanding of who the characters really were, and there was no development or emotional changes in their voices and faces in the characters at all which I feel is one of the most dynamic aspects any anime should 
have. So to put it straight, if they were alive in the beginning and live at the end, they were just that. And who wouldn't change after they went through a major fucking massacre semester in middle school, mind you? It was no big deal to our characters to me, and it felt very unrealistic and left me very disappointed in the characters of another. And with no character analysis, I give this aspect a big fat zero. Now onto the animation, which is one thing that was done very well for another. It was produced by PA Works, who is best known for the production of Angel Beats back in 2010. I love the colors that were used in another. I felt like there was a very sharp contrast to the anime while the background scenes kept incorporated with the horror theme. It was very pretty and eerie at the same time, and the character designs were very attractive which was the only thing going for them. Also when things got messy, PA Works kept your eyes either glued to the screen or your hands glued to your mouth in shock. Overall, PA Works did a beautiful job animating another, and it was a job well done. And then there's the music, which has dropped me from my elation with the animation. The music played in another makes me feel like I'm playing Zelda. And even though Zelda is an awesome game for sure, why is music like this playing in a horror-themed anime series. So <laughs> it seemed too mellow, even if it's in its anticlimactic moments. Though when shit gets real, you do have the music to set the theatrics. But I digress from the OST to mention the opening theme, which I really did not like. The opening seemed too noisy and it really didn't go with the slow scenes they displayed. The ending theme had a nice melody, but thinking about it and how the anime is supposed to freak you out, it just really leaves me in an awkward impression with the soundtrack. Alright, and now to bring you guys with my final thoughts of another. Now, when I first finished another, my initial reaction was, wow, I liked this anime. And I really liked it because of the mystery part. Now. Usually I can predict what's going to happen when it comes to solving cases, but this was unpredictable to me, and that's a plus for me. But when it says it's supposed to be horrifying, I'm looking for something that's going to creep me out. And though when the parts came when certain people died, it was pretty creepy, but that's it. The whole theme of Another was kind of thrown off, and I feel like the only thing that really lived up to it was the animation part when it brought in those like creepy scenes or like when the accidents would occur but other than that like the music even though some of it was creepy I felt like it was over orchestrated and I don't know how to put it any better than that but it was either like not really horrifying or it was over orchestrated and I just didn't really like it but the main letdown of this anime I would have to say is the fact that the characters had no depiction at all. They were all to me exactly the same and it even seemed like they talked the same way like they had no personalities whatsoever and honestly in my opinion if all these violent acts were happening to me or I was witnessing them I would not be perfectly okay with it and all like mellow and cool and whatnot. No, I'd be emotionally distraught and none of these characters are, which leaves it very unrealistic. Other than the characters, I would have to say that if they put more in the dialogue and explained a little bit more how at least Misaki had that weird left eye and explained a little bit more about the calamity, I feel like it would have been a bit more interesting. But overall, it just wasn't. And honestly, because I'm a big horror fan, I just was very disappointed in this anime. Which leaves me off with my recommendation that if you're really into the horror genre, I wouldn't recommend this. And I would only recommend it to people that aren't really fans of the horror genre, but like mystery. So if you're more into like the mystery aspect of animes, then I would give this a try. But overall, I feel like it is still a very boring anime to watch. So overall, I leave a very low score for another. And overall, just stay away from it unless you really don't like the horror genre and other than that that's it 
So, tell me what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. Tell me if you liked another. Tell me what you thought of my review, if I was being too biased because I'm a big horror fan. I really tried not to be, but yeah, just tell me what you think, and until next time.